everybody. Now, a lot of you have asked for a specific individual to show up in one of my videos. He's also been in some of my Instagram posts before, and the fever pitch for him has... <laughs> Did you just fart? <laughs> Okay. Start all over again. No, no, I'm just gonna keep recording it. I'll, I'll go ahead and, and change it around. Okay. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, man. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Now, a topic that I have not seen a lot of people really cover when it comes to the Gundam community is Gundam building for senior citizens. That's because a lot of senior citizens may not have any interest in this, or they just may feel intimidated and not understand exactly what Gundams are and why it would be any benefit to get into them at a later age. As you've seen in some of my Instagram posts throughout the last couple of years, there's one individual that I posted pictures of and a build that he's done himself that garnered a lot of positive attention from all of you. And many of you wanted to see him and to hear from him himself. And today is the day that happens. So uh, you wanna get off the phone and come over here real quick? I got this guy. It's this guy right here. Have a seat. I was checking my social media. You're so, <laughs> your non-existent social media. <laughs> Delightful. This is my father. Yeah. How Poppy are you? Ventura, or yes. AKA Tom Bonaventura. Yep. There I am. So what we are doing today, Father yes. dear, mm -hmm. is talking about Gundams and what it is that you enjoy. Because if I give a little mm -hmm. context here, he built a mega-sized Zaku about roughly a year ago. I was a bit bigger than that about uh, roughly a year ago, and um, you seem to have found a lot of enjoyment in it. Mm -hmm. For some of you who have seen the video uh, that I posted a little while ago about why build Gundams that had a Judd nerf from your average consumer in it, I wanted to ask you that same question. Why, first off, what was it that made you want to build a Gundam kit? Well, the first thing was the project. That, okay. that was the fun thing. Uh, it was the Look project and looking at, and looking at the, uh, the diagram and seeing, well, I think I can do this. It seemed uh, an interesting, an interesting project to do mm -hmm. and creative because um, you know as we get older sometimes we miss parts and we miss this and we miss that but if I follow the instructions everything's fine no it's not even when you get older that's the funny thing when you're younger too you miss parts too mm -hmm. I have lost them before and that stinks and that's no but fun. I kept I kept looking at uh, we, you had shown me how to keep it in a box mm -hmm. so that way I can put the right arm over there the left arm over there the left leg and so on and so forth it works and then what it was able to do was it was very easy then to pick it out look at the diagram and put it on but what I enjoyed about it was the fact that I was engaged I was engaged and I was focusing on the model itself and it was fun putting it together because there's a element of creativity in a sense that you're seeing something going from nothing, just all these little parts all over the place that you disconnect and put together in the box and then pull them out and actually taking shape. It's fun. And that's the main thing. It's fun. You know, and from a level of uh, mental ch challenging you mentally, you know, as you do get older and sometimes while you're younger too, the memory kind of goes a little bit. And uh, I have that issue from time to time. I know you have that issue from time to time. Mm -hmm. And there's the benefit of being able to, again, look through all these parts. And it takes a little bit of memory to know where stuff goes. Especially as you're kind of, I don't know if you remember before, but as you were doing everything, you did a checked off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Checked every off part. Each, each part as I was putting it together because there's a lot of parts. Yeah, there are a lot of parts. And that's the thing where some of you uh, who still have your parents are fortunate enough to still have your parents alive or maybe even grandparents for that matter too, I believe Gundam building would be of much use and much help to them. Now, granted, um, did you know exactly what it was you were building? Oh yeah. You did. I, I know, I, I knew about the old days of Transformers and something sort of that way, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, looking at the, um, the Japanese cartoons sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, seeing what they are, so. I had an idea what the whole thing was. He had a background, but some of your parents or grandparents may have no idea what some of these are, and that would really be up to you as the builder, as the enthusiast, to be able to introduce them to it. Now, one thing I do want to make clear, the kit that you built was a mega-size Zaku. Yeah. Now, that wasn't a really part-intensive kit, but what did you find was, let's put it this way, if I put something in front of you like some of the kits you see me build that are loaded with parts like the NASA Sazabi just recently, do you think you would want to take up something like that? I tell you, when it's something that big, mm -hmm. you get a sense of accomplishment pretty quick, okay? Exactly. As opposed to, it, then it starts to become a little tedious and you're trying to really, you know, get into it. Mm -hmm. But when it's being built, you know, 
with a nice large, large size, mm -hmm. that's cool. Because right. now you're seeing the results quickly. Because let's face it, my age, I buy ripe bananas. I don't buy green <laughs> bananas. <laughs> I can't wait things for ripe. <laughs> it's only applesauce so and mashed potatoes. No, it's not, it's not ash potatoes. No, no, come on, no. Yes. It's, it's not mashed potatoes and, and applesauce, no. It's, Scotch. Scotch. Okay, Parvi. Scotch and applesauce, right? No, no, and French fries. And crackers every once in a while if you behave well. Yes. 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 So anyways, that's another thing too. If you're going to be picking out a kit for, let's say, your parents or grandparents, what you really want to do is focus on something that's going to give them gratification mm -hmm. that is not uh, long term in the sense. But when you're picking an actual kit for them, like a mega size RX-78, Unicorn, Zaku, whatever it is like that, if you gift one of them something like that again, there's enough parts there to keep them occupied yeah. for a while. How long did that thing take you to build, if you remember? It was on and off, obviously. He's not gonna do it in one long marathon session, but how long did that take you to build, roughly? Probably uh, two or three days. Yeah, that's right, you did build that pretty quickly. Yeah. That's a lot quicker than some other Because I was think. able to focus in and, I, and look at what I had, but the first, the biggest part was getting all the parts into the box. Mm -hmm. okay. Cutting everything out. Uh, cutting everything out. And then you getting on me with the nub, the nibs and you know, cutting and make certain that they're nice and you know, smooth. smooth. And I had to cut it a certain way mm -hmm. and concentrate on that, mm -hmm. you know? And I don't know if I lost any parts. You didn't. And you know, that comes down to another thing too, introducing them, those that you're gonna give this to, the tools. Really all they need is just side cutters. They're not looking, you know. And not junky side cutters, too, it, because you stress them. Well, okay? well, excuse no, me. No, He's no, like, I only, I only want because my, my you know, the other one was when it was like those little nubs there. Oh, the Walmart specials? Oh, yeah. yeah, come on, that's junk. Didn't work that well, but no. you know, see this is the thing. And yeah. that cut your time down to have to, you don't have to sand as much. This is true. And that build eventually, um, I went on to go ahead and paint it and you wanted to sell it. Yeah, I did want to sell it. Yeah. And he did, yeah. we sold it. I didn't do anything exotic with it, like, you know, filling the seam lines or anything, but here's a picture of it before. And there he is all nice and happy with it. And here's a picture of it afterward as well. After, pretty simple, pre-shaded. Manual the... dexterity is another thing too. That's what was really cool about it. You know? So it's patience. It helps you with your hand and eye coordination, manual dexterity. Right. Sense of accomplishment. Sense of accomplishment as well. Right. And uh, really for me as being his son, it was just a really cool thing to see him build one of these things because this is something from my world that he took an interest in on his own accord. But I want to build another one. Really? Yes, I would like to build another one. I'm gonna have Not the same size, you know, but a different model. Okay. Okay. We're gonna get him before I get confused. We're gonna get him we'll a. Hurry up. a <laughs> we're gonna get him a Sazabi version kata do. Ooh, a kata do. A kata do. <laughs> <laughs> If any of you have any suggestions as to what you want to see him build, please let me know. Comment in the link below and uh, we'll see what we can facilitate. And if you want to actually have a build video of him doing it, or at least a little diary kind of video as he's going across it day by day, something that may be able to help uh, your parents or perhaps your grandparents or anyone else for that matter that's uh, of an older age that wants to get into Gundams, maybe I can tailor that video around for them and uh, yeah, you can fine. give your commentary as you're doing it. Okay. You're never too old and you're never too young to get into Gundam. Well, you might be too young because you could choke on things and that would be bad. And if you're too old, you could probably choke on things too. Or cut your finger off. Or cut your finger off <laughs> with a pair of side cutters. <laughs> It's ageless. Gundam building is ageless. It's for everybody and that's really the main point of this video is to show you all of you can do it. And there's a lot of benefits to it that we just discussed. Again, if we do a little bit short recap, there's the manual dexterity in the hands. It helps with that. Now, one thing to make notice here, I have some compression gloves that I use. Uh, my hands are kind of shot and so is my wrist. He didn't have to use them, but- Because um, I'm tough. <laughs> yeah like shoe leather. <laughs> so this is, uh, I had to get some, some gloves to be able to use and that's pretty much what I use day to day. And they can also help your older folks too if they're gonna be building it. If they need something like that, you can buy a pair of them on Amazon or on different websites too. I'll link below the ones that I use and uh, they help me a lot. They allow me to be able to work a lot longer without uh, much pain and it may help your grandparents or your parents as well. Then there's also a good pair of side cutters you wanna get them. Uh, originally, I got him some cheap ones from Walmart, which worked, but he wanted to get a lot closer without having to sand anything. So 
That's where I got the ones from Gundam Planet. Those are some of the best side cutters they've used. They're fantastic. They stay sharp and I'm still on the same pair since you did that about a year ago. Then you've also got the eye situation. If the eyes are bad, there's a jeweler's glasses you can get. I'll link them below, they're cheap. I use them occasionally when I'm doing very, very detailed work, close up stuff. They work wonders for the eyes. Yeah, they're better than, uh, I found them better and more flexible than getting one of those stationary um, magnifying, magnifying glasses. Putting it like that and then going like this. Yeah. You just were able to move around like that. The trouble is you just don't get up and walk around because then everything gets close <laughs> and you can fall. That's why, that's why. <laughs> Objects appear larger than they really that are. That explains your hip. <laughs> I'm kidding. So that's, yeah, that's another thing too. You know, the tools, as we mentioned, side cutters, magnifying glasses, compression gloves, those things will all work very well for any of you that, uh, again, have your parents or your older grandparents trying to get into doing this. Those will help them greatly when it comes to doing a build. Also to the boxes that you sort all the parts in, what I would tell you to do as a young builder or an older builder is to, again, take the tape, label off each of the sections inside, head, chest, arm, waists, so on and so forth. It makes it a lot easier for uh, those that are older that are gonna be doing these builds to be able to sort everything and not lose anything. Also too, take a pen and check mark off every part that you cut out because that's gonna help too, to ensure nothing's been lost. And also too, it's a good visual cue when, uh, I guess it was for you too, once you had to take a break and you came back to it. I knew where it was. Exactly, you knew right where you left I, off. I think the other cool thing about it is the fact that it's all snap-on. Right. And you don't know, like, you take the other kits, like cars or boats or mm -hmm. whatever, you have to glue them. Right. And so, you know, from a, just a purely health reason, just sticking them together, mm -hmm. snapping them on, it's a lot easier than playing around with glue. Exactly, yeah. so that's another benefit for doing some of these. So Bandai, thank you very much for doing snapping kits. So if you like what you saw, comment below. Let us know what you wanna see in future videos. And if you haven't already subscribed, comment below. No. And have subscribe. Let's try that again. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. No, look at that. Let us know what you thought of this video and if there's anything more you want to see my father in, any other kind of topics when it comes to this. I don't know about that one. I'm on oh, a special call. Oh, you no, know? you're stuck. You're stuck. Uh, That's it. You're stuck. Call. You're part of the channel now. It's over. Ooh. Thank you very much again for watching. I hope you have a great day and bye. I think that's good. I think that's good. I think it's good. I don't think that's so entertaining.